contender to accept the challenge. Armored Mobility. This is their story. Howdy folks, I'm Sean. And I'm Jake. And welcome to another episode of Ordnance Lab. This is going to be the first time we have a challenger for our Ordnance Lab challenge. Before, if y'all remember, we had Rusty Randy, our previous co-star, not looking too good, um, where he jumped on a grenade. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to do that again. We have Armored Mobility Incorporated wants to take our challenge where we put their armor up against a fragmentation grenade. The grenade is placed directly below the plate that is mounted on Rusty Randy. With the grenade set, we wired it to the blasting circuit, and I got behind the berm to set it off. All right, ready? Let's do this. Here we go. Right. Ready? Let's do this. Here we go. All right, guys. So uh, our mobility really impressed me with this plate because uh, it did a pretty good job surviving the grenade blast. Uh, Rescue Randy, not so much. He got an arm blown off and it's over there somewhere. But if you can see, we haven't moved the plate. Uh, there's the grenade hole blast. And you know, you can see some of the fragments in there, but here's the plate. And it got pretty, pretty deformed, all right? Uh, <laughs> it's got a massive deformity in it and some delamination. Um, uh, I didn't know it with, with the, the, uh, the composite was inside. It looks like several laminates of, uh, well, it looks like uh, some type of hardened like ceramic of some sort. But if you look, it, it, it did a great job. I mean, there's no penetration on the other side. Uh, so any, any of your vital organs on this side would have been crushed. You'd had a crushed sternum. You'd be in serious pain. You definitely need a trip to the, to the surgeon, but you'd still be alive. Uh, as far as fragmentation goes, that's a different story. But as far as I'm concerned, the, this armor plate did really well. Uh, my props, uh, my, my, my congratulations to you. It did a really good job with this plate. So let's move on to the 556 five, test and see how many uh, rounds it can take. We're going to start with five, maybe push a little bit more. Let's find out. All right, so we tried it with the hand grenade. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try it with M855. We're going to put five rounds of 556 five, through a 14.5 inch M4 um, at what? About seven meters or so. We'll see what happens. All right, so after hitting with the claymore and jumping on the grenade, we fired the five rounds of 556 uh, or 855 556 into this armored mobility plate. Let's see what happens with it. So, oh, we've got a little bit of perforation on the side, but it looks like that this right here is just it poking through after it's been hit so many times. I didn't put up the rounds in a particular location. I just fired them off um, just like you would if you were shooting at a target. And so just put them all in this general area. And what happens is that you did get the perforation, but this is after it was hit by a hand grenade and by 5.56 five, armor penetrating rounds, um, all in the same general area. I'm no body armor expert, but I do uh, have, or have shot up several of the ESAPI plates the Army has, at least back in the day. And um, those right there, they take five rounds of 5.56, five, but not after they've taken a hand grenade. And this is pretty lightweight, so Armored Mobility has done a great job. We're extremely impressed with their armor. We're going to get a little bit off track here. We, we're going to still do the shape charges, but what we want to do is we want to actually see this stuff fail. So we're going to change it up, and what we're going to do is we're going to hit it with some 308 just to see what happens happens um, and then we'll sit there and take some shape charges to a part of it just to destroy it but again armor mobility makes a fantastic plate that uh, this is not it's something they've not tested before and against explosions and grenades and it's still surviving so let's try that 308 uh, since rescue randy went ahead and fell over we still, we can see we've still got no penetration here on the armored mobility plate. Let's see what the second round did. Impacted over here and uh, damaged this a little bit more, but it's still stopping rounds from the uh, the 308. Again, we've done pretty much all we can to get this thing to fail, aside from just repeatedly hitting it in the same spot over and over and over. Um, but it's done a pretty damn good job of standing up to it. Extremely impressive. And so we want to keep this right here kind of uh, together because we're going to try it with the shape charge. So we'll stop shooting it and now we'll move on to some explosives. We have quite a bit of these linear shape charges we purchased recently from a vendor getting rid of old stock. It is a plastic explosive sheathed in a liner of copper. We normally manufacture our own but opted to use these as we had none of our own currently available for this test. 
we cut a two centimeter piece and attach it to a relatively unharmed part of the plate. But as you can see the plate uh, from on this side, it, there's no penetration. There's definitely a perforation where the shape charge was, which meant that uh, it definitely you know worked. But as we lift it up here, there's where the shape charge went through. The, the copper surrounding the explosive forms an explosive form penetrator and it goes through the body armor. But, it, you know, it went through right there, but it didn't go on the other side. It perforated, but it did not penetrate. That right there is impressive. I, I'm not an expert on body armor. Uh, I, that's not my thing. I'm a chemist, not a material scientist. But this is right here is, I mean, from what I've seen with body armor form, performances, this stuff is great. Uh, I mean, uh, armor mobility products, you guys did great on this challenge. I, I, I don't know what else to do with this, this plate. Uh, I mean, short of, you know, a, a nuclear blast or something. So um, we, we, we talked about it and we thought, hey, you know, we, uh, let's test it with some Molotovs and shoot it some more because it technically hasn't failed. Uh, we have no pass through and penetration. So we're going to move on to Molotovs, more shooting, and see if we can get this sucker to fail. The self-igniting Molotov cocktails worked great and burn the armor for about five minutes or so. Once the flames finally died, we checked the plate. The exterior coating was burnt, but the plate itself was still in the fight. We wanted to see what happens uh, with it whenever we put five more rounds of 855 with our 14.5 inch M4. So, let's see what happens. Oh, well, that knocked it over, so we're just gonna do one round and let's see what, how it looks. All right, so let's see what happens where we shot it. All right, so we hit it right there in that bottom, or well, center, yeah, kind of the right. Yep, Cody pointing that out. And I'm not seeing any penetration on the other side. So we're still getting against 855 at about 10 meters. We're still getting effective protection from penetration. So let's hit it a few more times just to see what happens. So we do the full five rounds. But again, this right here has been hit by a grenade. It's been shot, it's been burned, like hit with shape charges. I mean. We are trying to destroy this thing, and this just keeps going and going. So, wow, Armored Mobility is really putting out a good product. All right, so we're going to put the other four rounds of 855 through it. Yeah, it's still stopping it. This is just amazing. I mean, we've done everything we can to try to get this thing to fail and it just keeps going and going and going. Wow, let the Energizer Bunny. So what we can do now is we'll see what else we can do. We'll hit it with a couple of rounds of 308 and see if that will get it to fail. But again, it's been shot plenty of time. What, we put 10 rounds of 855 through it. We put two rounds of 308 through it, plus the grenade, plus the, uh, shape charge and being lit on fire just amazing um really good stuff all right so let's try that 308 now all right so it was three shots of 308 at approximately what 15 meters Ah, we got a little bit of something coming through here. Looks like we got uh, some perforation, but it looks like it still caught the, um, eh, it could, yeah, I think we did finally get some penetration here um, that could have just been jacket, but overall it's still stopping, it looks like. Um, damn. So what we're going to do is shoot it on full auto with an M4 and see if we can get it with just, hey, hitting it right at the same spot at the same time and seeing if that right there affects it. But again, this is, we're getting into the, the, the point, or the, we've reached the point of absurdity in trying to puncture this, where there's no real, real life situation that I could think of where you're gonna be able to successfully penetrate this vest. All right, so we just dumped the 30 round magazine of 556 into it and we still are not getting where it's just going through like a uh, hot knife through butter like it would if you had an e-sappy plate or something like that. So Armor Mobility makes an amazing product. You can see where it's all chewed up in here with 556 and it's still stopping the rounds overall. 
Uh, I probably wouldn't want to go get shot wearing this um, right now. Well, of course, <laughs> getting shot tends to be a bad thing anyways. But this right here, there's just no way that I could see someone possibly um, getting penetration from any sort of, of weapon that I can imagine where if you're wearing this plate that you're going to get reliable protection from any sort of rifle. Um, yeah, just wow. What an amazing product.